On the western coast of Guernsey sits one of the best examples of the island's immense tidal power. Isolated from the mainland for more than half of the day, Lihu Island is a small tidal island that is only accessible during brief four hour windows at the lowest of tides. In today's video, we set off to explore this inaccessible part of Guernsey, braving the cold for a dip in the stunning Venus pools. We also discover some ancient ruins of a monastery and do some classic Highlands to Hammocks things like get lost and wear the wrong clothing. Now the question is left or right, you're the one that did the research. But it's like not come up on maps. We did it the wrong way, obviously. Oh, God. This is such a bad idea. So sit back, relax and enjoy the next 15 minutes of facts, fun and lots of fails. I am never doing that again. <laughs> So we're back now at Lehigh Island and I think it's the first time we've actually timed it to perfection because it's low tide, we can actually go And we did actually to... look, Google the tides. Yeah, <laughs> That's why we timed it to perfection. So yes, I think that's a new thing for Highland Samics. We actually pre-planned something now. For those who aren't familiar with it, Lehigh Island's a part of on the west coast of Guernsey. It's a little rocky outcrop and it's only accessible at low tide. There's about a two or three hour window maybe once a day I think during the daylight hours where you can actually walk across a causeway that's been built and you can go and explore around the island there is actually a house I don't know if you can see it just behind us on the island I think it's used as like a kind of bunkhouse hotel kind of thing you can rent it out it was pretty sunny earlier today it's and the first it of January it wasn't as windy no. as it is I'm all of a sudden feeling like very cold I didn't bring my scarf or my cap I have packed the towel we brought our swimmers but yeah it's just whether it gets used today you need to hang on with us we will come back another day and actually go check out the rock pools yeah, I'm not actually entirely sure how long it's going to take to walk over the causeway. We're on it now, we're just at the start of it. And it is, what time is it? Time check. It's five past one. Um, we have until half past three to get back across. We've got two hours. And my hands are absolutely frozen already. I really need to put some gloves in my camera bag because flying a drone when it's about three degrees outside is just torture. We have not thought this through. Putting shoes like this to try and climb across these rivers. It's actually still a bit wet. Converse probably isn't the best choice and it's kind of, there's a, like a stream running across it and it's not all cobbled like I thought it would be. It's more just like a kind of built up bit and you need to climb across the rocks and that. So yeah, I feel like we've said this in about six different videos and we never actually do it. But wear appropriate shoes. Wear proper shoes guys. And bring some decent shoes. We actually planned ahead and we wore correct footwear because this is what we're tackling. Maybe I'm being a wuss but I'm just thinking by the time we get over here, swim and then we have to like like walk back. It's not like we can just get straight into a warm car. Yeah, we're gonna freeze. And I don't really have enough warm layers. So I said earlier we were organized, which is unlike Highlands to Hammocks. We're proving all of that wrong. Actually, we were kind of half-assed organizing it. We knew the times, but we didn't actually get anything else organized. Now we're almost across now. I think the causeway is finished. We're onto the stony beach of Lehigh Island. And there's a couple of people, there's some over there and there's some just behind us as well that look like they're out kind of rock pool hunting or crabbing or something. Ormering, is that what the name is? Let us know in the comments down below. I don't actually know the name of it. But it's a really, really popular thing here in Guernsey and everyone always seems to be at low tide. They're always wandering around looking for whether it's crabs or shellfish or even bait. I think sometimes they look for like fish bait. So if you're into that kind of thing, this is quite a good place to come to at low tide. You can do it. I don't want to get soggy feet. <laughs> Apparently the tide that runs between Lehigh Island and the mainland I guess because it's so shallow, so when it's at high tide, there's a proper rip current that like runs right across the mainland. And they say it can be really quite dangerous. There's been people that have tried to swim across it and or wade across it and you get, or even paddle boarding and you get proper taken out to sea. So it's quite dangerous at high tide. So I would watch out guys. So we made it all the way across. Now the question is left or right? What do you think? You're the one that did the research. Not much research, right? But yeah, it's not that big an island. Two or three sites on it. As I said, you've got the, the old ruins of a church that sits on the island. There's a hostel bit, and then there's a Venus pool. So let's see if we can find anything else as well. This island kind of reminds me of Hanza Island in, on the North Coast 500. It very much does, actually. Yeah, I've not yeah. been here long, but I don't know, I'm getting that same vibe. It's just because it's like, it's like a kind wildlife, of, and yeah, abandoned and wildlife sanctuary. But okay, it seemed like a minute ago we had a mass exodus of everyone fleeing across the rump back across the island, and I've just looked up. I think there might be a storm coming. Everyone knew something that we didn't. We're all running out of the island, and they've got these big clouds coming overhead. But this is like the path 
you've got her in the island, so it's just like in a, a green grass path, quite nice, you do see you try and stick to the path. Because there's like birds um, that nest here during certain periods of time I guess, so they're trying to preserve it. And um, Gemma is very also kindly donated her cute little mitts. So I've got my little mittens on, my hands are feeling warmer already and I'm feeling cute. Still just trying to find the location, but it's like not coming up on maps. From what I remember last time, mm -hmm. when I was trying to do a bit of research into it, it was quite difficult to find information. That's why we're going to write a full post. If you're trying to find the Venus pools, we'll find them today. And we're going to write a full blog post on our website. So if you are trying to find them later on in the year when it's a bit warmer, you can go and check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. Right, so we're actually just looking on the phone. And so this is Lehigh Island, but we are up at the top right corner, but apparently they're over at the top yeah, left. They're here and they're over here. Yeah, so let's go. That away. And that's always a sign that you want to see. No. That means that there's mice on the island. No, I've been telling myself that it's winter and they're all hiding. They are all hiding. Unless they would find your trousers legs to be quite warm. <laughs> Stop. Whoop, straight up there. Oh, God. I didn't realise there was going to be hills on the island. Out of breath already, trying to walk up this tiny little mound. <laughs> but I'm hoping it's just going to be up over this cliff. Maybe down there? Maybe down there. There's loads of water. This is over the western side of the island now. So we actually just met a lovely group of ladies that recognised us from YouTube. I and know. we spoke to them about the Venus pools because we said we were looking out for them. So they've told us that they're on this side of the... Gosh, I'm like out <laughs> So they've told us that they're on this side of the island and there's actually a big stone with the words Venus pools. Ah, it. So we okay, can't that, miss it. That's really good. <laughs> we shouldn't be able to miss it. No, what were you like, man? It's not that much, it's just really hidden. Oh yeah, apart from the big signpost, oh. apparently. And so we're in the ruins now as well. It was like some kind of priory. Do you remember the name of it? Uh, Lehigh Priory. Oh, that would make sense, wouldn't it? So it's like a kind of an old church, I think, that was on the island. It's about the 12th or 13th century by monks, I believe it was. And it's quite cool. It's like there's a lot of um, still a brickwork and everything, and you can see the actual rooms that used to exist here. And it's pres well preserved in that sense. You can actually see the layout of the building. And it sits on, if you arrive on the island and then take a left walk around clockwise, I think that is actually the better way to do it because then you can see the priory the Venus pools and then just go and explore the rest of the island by foot at your own pace. We did it the wrong way, obviously, because that's what we always do. <laughs> and um, it's right at the end of it, but it's it's a cool little spot. Very. And voila! Very nearly very missed that. We yeah. very nearly missed that. If yeah. you come anti-clockwise, it's going to be behind you. It's a big boulder and there's literally a tiny little signpost on it that says Venus pools, so that's what you're looking out for. Just up on the cliffside here. I'm guessing it's just down below us. Actually, let's go and check it out. It's still a bit of a clamber to it. I don't really think we should be going down this way. Maybe we'll over that way. Let's turn back. So it's pretty much where the sign is, it looks like it's pretty much a vertical drop. We don't want to be going down that way. And of course, there is actually another sign that we've missed. Saying Venus Pool this way. I reckon if we go around to the left and then cut down that way, it's probably the easiest way to do it. Yeah, I feel like we have picked the worst route, but I think this is it just down over here. Hey, we made it. So it is actually getting right up close to it, quite beautiful, because you've got all the, the pink kind of seaweed that sits around the edges of it, which I'm guessing is coming from like maybe the algae and the salt. When uh, it gets dried up on like a warm summer's day, the salt obviously increases in concentration. And I'm guessing it's to do with like the pink lake kind of situation where it turns like the algae a certain colour of pink, which is really cool. And I imagine on a warm summer's day, it's going to be looking even pinker when all the water's evaporated. But we're here, we've seen it. I don't think it's going to be warm enough and I don't think we've got enough time to go for a swim. So that's another day. But yeah, beautiful spot this. And um, bring walking shoes, bring a towel and get in swimming when you come to Lehigh Island. So we're about three months later now and the weather has finally perked up enough for us to get back across the Lihu Island and possibly brave the cold water of the Venus pools. Natalie's joined us today and um, we're employing her as a pack horse because I can't be bothered carrying the bags and we're going to go and try and go for a little swim in the Venus pools that we didn't actually manage to do last time. Now's our memory test to see if we can actually remember how to get down to them. Because you remember last time earlier in the video, we took the longest way around to get to them. There's this natural kind of staircase that goes from the pools and this like leads up. 
I would keep that in mind. We're going to go and see where that starts at the top and we'll let you know, but there is actually an easier way than we took, so obviously we just love to challenge ourselves, I think. And then we took the shortcut back up, so now we're going to go try and go down the shortcut this time. But I do see them. See them. It looks warm, there you go. I can You're see the wind blowing the, You're laughing. blowing the water up the hill. This is such a bad idea. Get my feet nice and numb, that's the trick. Get your feet nice and numb, and then when they need to chop off, it's not sore. The thing is, is when you do this weekly, it's no bad. We did it in Sark like a week ago, and yeah, this was the result. So we're not very good at this whole sea swimming kind of thing, to be honest. Like, we pretend we know what we're doing, but we don't have a clue. Okay, we actually just realized we've only got half an hour to get off the island again, so we actually need to go for it now if we're gonna do it. Two, one. Woo! <laughs> now it's my turn. It's really not encouraging, like, at all. Venus boost complete. And so guys, that is the Venus pools on the island of Lehigh and I hope you found this video informative and entertaining because I am never doing that again. <laughs> it would be beautiful in the summer, but honestly today it was really, really cold. I know. And I know, and thank you for joining us, Natalie. Welcome. Yeah, if you like this video, guys, hit that like button, drop us a comment what you think about Lehigh Island, and we'll see you guys again in the next one. See ya! <laughs>